Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. It's bright and early. It's 8.45. And I like woke up pretty early and I actually felt well rested. So I got up, I got ready. I'm gonna go and get some coffee and a croissant. In Winter Park, there's this incredible bakery that we went to a couple of weeks ago. And I wanna go again because the pastries were so good. And I'm going to see if I can possibly take photos. Um, Keaton can't come with me. Keaton can't come with me so I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere where nobody is and take photos of my tripod I really need content of like me so I'm gonna try and do that I don't know how it's gonna go I've never done it before and it literally makes me so anxious but we're gonna see how it goes so I'm just waiting for my car to like not even like defrost but there's just water all over it um, and I can't see anything. So that's what we're gonna go do this morning. I also have to ship a Princess Polly return. Oh, my window's open. I also have to ship a Princess Polly return while I'm out. So I'm gonna also do that and figure it out. But it is a Saturday. It's gonna be a beautiful day today. So I wanted to wake up early anyways so that I could like do this in the morning and then in the afternoon, um, I wanna lay out by the pool a little bit. I need to do laundry because we're leaving to Jupiter for like a week tomorrow. And all of my clothes are in the laundry, like they're all dirty. So I need to wash my clothes, pack, and that's the plan for today. I did super simple makeup. Um, I'm not wearing any base. I literally just did my skincare. I put some of the Say cream, some of the Say cream bronzer on, cream bronzer on with my Tower 28 cream blush, some highlighter, um, my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner just with Aquaphor on top. I love that combo. My Refi Beauty um, brow sculpt and my Ilia mascara. And that's it. Super simple, glowy, natural. I love this makeup look. It's very nice. And yeah, I need to get some gas first because I'm going to run out of gas on my drive. So we're going to stop at gas and we're going to head to breakfast. Okay, I just dropped off my return. I got my coffee. Next up is pastries. I need to find a place to take a photo, but like I'm not from here, so I don't really know the area. Like in Toronto, I know that I can go to a bunch of like parking garages and parking lots, but I feel like there's no high rise parking garages here, so I don't know what to do. Guys, I did it. I took pictures of myself with a tripod. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but honestly, mm. Doing that gives me so much anxiety because I'm like already honestly shy when I take photos, believe it or not. I hate taking pictures in public. Like I know it's such a normal thing now to take pictures, but I literally get so awkward and so uncomfortable. And I just found an empty parking lot and I actually got some cute photos. It was a lot easier than I thought, but it was still kind of scary. But... I think we got a good shot. I'm just gonna look through my camera roll right now to make sure. Because I take a lot of photos with like my front camera and the timer, but the quality is never the same. So doing it with the back camera makes literally the world of a difference. Okay, the angle is actually really cute. I don't know if you guys can see because of the glare, but I think we got some good ones. Oh my God. This is like literally a big moment for me. I'm not even gonna lie. The one problem is that the back camera isn't um, live because I use Lens Buddy, cause so it just like continuously takes photos. Um, so they're not live, but I think that it's actually okay. I think we got the shot. And it literally took five minutes. Like, I'm, that was so quick. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, I just got home. This is what I got. The bakery is called Buttermilk Bakery in Winter Park, Florida. It's incredible. Like you walk in, first of all, everything smells so good, but they have really cool, unique pastry. So I got just a chocolate croissant, a morning bun, which is like my favorite, and a tomato and cheese croissant. Like, look at that. It looks so good. I came back in from the pool to make myself a smoothie for some lunch and I ended up just making a loaf of banana bread because we're going tomorrow to stay at his friend's house so I'm making them a banana bread as a thank you and we also had a lot of overripe bananas and we're obviously leaving for like five days so I used up three of the bananas in this. I put some of the Lily's salted caramel chocolate chips on top. They're literally so good and they're sugar free and they smell so good so I'm just waiting for... Oh, the oven is preheated. And this baby is going to go into the oven. 
Guys, I just got my ginormous Princess Polly haul in the mail. I am so excited to be working with them on this video. I'm gonna try everything on and do a try on haul and just go into detail with like the sizing and the pieces and the names and everything. So I literally cannot wait to show you all of this because there is some good, good stuff in here, you guys. Hi, you guys, we are taking a little break from the vlog to do the most exciting part of this video, which is the Princess Polly haul. Huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. I am obsessed with their clothes. If you follow me on Instagram, I literally wear their stuff all the time. I feel like I wear something from Princess Polly like almost every single day because they just have the cutest pieces at such a great price. They have free US shipping. They, they also offer afterpay and shop pay for all their customers if you don't wanna pay your purchase in one big order. So I'm gonna do a haul. It's gonna be a try on. I'm gonna show the pieces and then the clip of me trying it on will be overlapped on top so that you guys can see it on and off. But I'm obsessed with everything that I got. So I'm really excited to share it with you. So first off, I'm actually wearing um, one of the tops that I got. It's a really cute green blouse. Um, I wore it the other day to dinner with a skirt that I got and it's super, super cute. The material is super like soft and ribbed. It's very lightweight. The sleeves are like big and I just love the green. I love the color, it's amazing. Next up, we have this super cute trucker hat. I got so many questions in my Instagram DMs of where this was from because I wore it to the pool the other day. I actually have never had a trucker hat, but I feel like this one is super cute. It's flattering. I love the green. It says good vibes on it with cute little cherries or strawberries, sorry, <laughs> but I love it. Super comfy and it actually does protect you from the sun quite a bit. And then next, this I am so excited to wear. So it's a little like two piece of dress set. So we have, it's just like a halter black dress, but it comes with like sleeves that you wear just around so there's like a gap on the side that you guys will see in the try on it's super super cute it's kind of casual you can dress it up you can dress it down i'm very very into this dress i think it is very stylish super cute and trendy next up we have another dress i really need more dresses i feel like i just do not have enough dresses that are like cute and like can be kind of casual and just worn every day so I got this really cute little black button-up dress. I love the look of the button-up. I feel like it's super flattering. The material is really nice and like kind of has a sheen to it. If you can kind of tell, it's super comfortable and super soft. So I'm loving that one. Some little other accessories I got besides the hat. I just got a cute little gray headband. I feel like headbands are really coming back. Definitely trending right now. This one is really nice and thick material. So I'm excited to style this. And I also got these cute little socks with the little um, like ruffling on the top. Super, super cute. I wore these the other day. And I actually got them specifically for these loafers, which are amazing. They are so cute. I walked around in them for a couple hours. Super comfortable. I love this little gold chain detail. I have wanted a pair of loafers for quite some time and these are just amazing. They're like the perfect amount of chunk without making your foot look ginormous, if you know what I mean. So I'm loving these and they look super cute with the little ruffles like sticking up. It's such a cute look with the little mini skirt. I love it. I also got this perfect little black mini skirt that I wore with this shirt and the loafers. It was a very like sort of cutesy schoolgirl kind of vibe. I love this skirt, very flattering, very comfortable. Just a really great like basic staple closet item to have next we have this incredible corset top it's faux leather it's brown i love the detailing and i love just like the structure that it has but it's not like super hard so it's still bendy which is kind of important you hate when you like wear tops like this and you feel like you can't sit down so i love this it just zips up at the back it's pretty incredible. And by the way, all these pieces will be linked down below in the description. So if you want to shop easily, you definitely can. And I have a code. Stay tuned till the end of the haul um, so that you guys can use my code. But we have this, which I got to pair with these incredible archer pants. I love sort of like flowy dress pants like this. I have some other ones from other brands, but like this one, I love the color. It's very lightweight, very flowy, very comfortable, and they actually fit my whole leg, which is which is super important for me because I'm 5'7", and I'm not even that tall, but I feel like a lot of pants just go to my ankle and it's like an awkward length, you know? So I just, I like when they go all the way down to my foot. So these are super, super nice, and I'm really excited to wear them with the corset top, like an all brown outfit. Very, very into that right now. 
Next up, I'm so excited about this. I got an incredible pink striped set. So we have the button up and it's just like an oversized kind of fit, just your standard button up. And then it comes with these shorts, which are amazing. This is so cute for the beach, a little cover up, or even just like a summer day with some sandals. You just look put together. It's already an outfit made for you. And I just, I'm loving the pink, super comfortable also. So that's very, very important. And then I got this adorable little knit bag. We love like fun bags like this, like just for every day, throw your stuff in there, pop it on your shoulder. Like, I just love it. I love the checkers. I love the green. It's giving very like Pinterest vibes, but it's super cute. And then last thing on the green trend that I'm actually obsessed with are these heels. Look at these, you guys. They're so cute. They are like snakeskin print or alligator. And the heel is like geometric. So it's completely flat on the back. And then it's like a triangle on the inside. They're incredible. They're really high, but they just make your legs look so long. They are so, so cute with a mini skirt with the black dress, like literally with anything. I'm obsessed, literally obsessed. I'm very into all the little slip on sandal heels. They're just so easy and they look incredible. So I'm super excited about these. Um, that is the Princess Polly try on haul. If you guys want to get a discount, you can use my code Sasha20 for 20% off your order. Free US shipping on orders $50 or more. You just need all these pieces. Like you, you just need all these pieces. They're super cute. Literally the best clothing. You can definitely get the perfect like spring summer wardrobe. Hopefully the weather is getting better soon. But yeah, that is my haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get back to the vlog. Guys, it is Sunday, February 20th today. I have not vlogged in quite a few days, honestly, because we were in Boynton Beach staying with Keaton's friends because he was caddying for his friend from one of his tournaments. And we just got back on Friday night at like 10 o'clock. Um, so we were there for like literally six days, five days. So I didn't bring my vlog camera. I didn't film anything. But we're back and I'm excited about this vlog. Um, I just did a little Pilates class, Pilates workout. It's a beautiful day outside today. I have not had coffee or breakfast or anything. So we're gonna make some coffee together. And then I think I'm gonna lay out by the pool and tan and read my book because it's a beautiful day today. This week I need to catch up on a lot of assignments. I'm really behind, yikes. But it's reading week, so it's reading week. So I don't have class. So I'm just gonna use this time to catch up on lectures readings assignments and all that stuff because i honestly have a lot coming up in like a couple of weeks and i am going home soon which i'm really sad about so i kind of just want to like get school out of the way so that going home i know it's going to take me a few days to resettle in and unpack and all that stuff and i just don't want to like have to be like stressed about school so that's kind of the plan and what's happening right now Yesterday was a very lazy day. It wasn't like that that nice out in the morning. So I went to the grocery store and then Keenan and I went for dinner. We took some photos because I needed to for a campaign. And yeah, but for right now, we're gonna make some coffee. Yesterday at Sprouts, um, they had the chameleon cold brew that I really like. It was buy one, get one free. And these are like big, this is almost a liter of cold brew. So I got the New Orleans style coffee, which I've never even tried. I don't know what that is. And then I got a caramel one as well. So we're gonna use this. I think I wanna make like a dirty chai. Um, so I'm gonna use the organic Tazo chai concentrate. This is literally so, 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 so good. And then what really makes it is the Chobani vanilla creamer. This shit is addicting. It's dairy, but like, it's so good. So I don't even care. And then, my cashew milk. That's the combo. We're gonna mix it up. Here she is. Mmm. Mmm. The cold brew has an interesting flavor. I like it. Pretty good. Okay, I don't know what to have for breakfast. I didn't get too much of the grocery store yesterday because we're going back 
to his friend's house on Wednesday until Friday and today's already Sunday. So I got more like prepared stuff that was just kind of easy. I didn't buy a ton of fresh produce because we're not gonna be here and I know that it's just gonna go to waste. So we have like yogurt and like oatmeal and stuff like that and toast. Oh, I didn't buy avocados. Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought I bought avocados. I literally looked at them and I forgot to get them. That's really unfortunate because I kind of wanted an avocado toast. Maybe I'll just have toast and eggs. But yeah, I'm not really sure what to make. It's been a couple of hours. I've been sitting at my desk all day and I'm just about to prep some dinner. I am thawing this Applegate organic spinach and feta chicken sausage. I haven't like had chicken in a while, like since before I went vegetarian, but this is a sausage and it's cooked. So I feel a little better about that. There's spinach and feta in it. I'm gonna do cauliflower gnocchi baked in the oven. So it's nice and crispy with this pumpkin cream sauce. Sounds really, really good. And then we have some leftover broccoli that I'm also gonna toss in there for a nutritious filling protein filled meal. So I'm just gonna wait for this to thaw and wait for the oven to preheat and then we're gonna get cooking. If you guys want the best crispiest cauliflower gnocchi, do not, do not follow the baking or cooking instructions on this package. It will literally turn into mush and it's not good at all. Bake them from frozen, like put them on parchment paper on a pan, olive oil or avocado oil, whatever, at 400 for like 20 to 25 minutes. You wanna flip it halfway through. Then they get really nice and crispy, which is what you want. You do not want it to be mushy. Like it just gets literally disgusting. So that's what we're gonna do. looks good good morning you guys it is tuesday morning it's 8 30. i actually just finished up my morning session um my morning live session with join morning club and it was such a good one we did a little meditation a little stretch a little journaling if you guys follow me on Instagram and you see me post about those sessions, I highly recommend you join. It's just such an amazing way for us to connect and just to start off our day on a really nice positive note. Everybody puts in their affirmations and their journal responses and I just, I love that. It's just such, such a cool way for me to get to talk to you guys, which I love. So 8.30 now. We are actually heading back down south where we were last week today. We were supposed to go tomorrow, but Keen wants to go a day early to practice a little bit more. So it is 8.30, I just finished up. I'm gonna do Pilates and I'm gonna shower and get ready for the day. And then I'm gonna pack and then we're leaving at like 10.30, 11ish. So back on the road, backpacking, a little annoying, but it's okay. But because of that, I think I'm just gonna end off this vlog here. I know it was a little bit shorter, but I hope you guys enjoyed the Princess Polly haul, which was kind of the main focus. And I will see you all in the next vlog. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe here. Feel free to comment any other videos you would like to see, like the video, and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.